I'm here again in Green Cove Springs, Florida, and today it's time to get the prop shaft, the propeller, the cutlass bearing, and the dripless shaft seal installed in this boat. It's going to be a pretty good job, and I think I've got everything pretty much ready to go. So, I've got, you know, the propeller there. I've got this shaft pusher thing here that I made. The shaft is standing up right there, assorted tools and grease, the cutlass bearing tools and such as that. So, I think things are pretty much ready to get started. Oh, shoot. Shoot, I forgot. There's one more thing. Almost forgot the most important thing of all. And that is... Hey, that is Molly. Hey. <laughs> Can you get out of there? All right. Are you going to help me with some of this stuff today, Molly? Yes. All right. Great. I'm so glad you're here. All right. So the first thing we have to do is to install this guy here. This is a cutlass bearing. This is what the shaft, the propeller shaft, rides in. Um, in the area that is between the inside of the boat and the outside of the boat. So this is just what prevents vibration, keeps everything running nice and smooth. And there's some grooves cut out in there, kind of like rifling inside a barrel that allows water inside to help keep the shaft cool in there. We removed the original one already, so now we have to press this one into uh, the... I'm not actually sure what this part of the boat is called. I'll show you. This part right here. This has to be pressed into uh, this tube here. Oh, a stern tube or a uh, uh, shaft log, I believe that's what it's called. So first, before we can do this, we actually have to clean this out and then we're gonna press this in. So let's clean that out first. There you go. Thank you. Spray it. Spray what? The, the, the thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, inside. Okay, that's good. Here's another one of Ben's boat contraptions that we just put together this morning. This is a scrubby on a stick. Safety wired onto the stick. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Not one of my more impressive boat contraptions, but still a boat contraption. All right, try that out, Molly. Get in there. Scrub out that shaft log. Like, yep, all, all the way through, top and bottom, all the way around. Give it, scrub it good. Scrubby, scrubby. Scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. Oh, it keeps scrubby. getting stuck. There you go. Just work it around in there all all over the place. We've got to get it cleaned out really good so that the cutlass bearing slides in there nice and smooth without any gunk or weird stuff in there. Scrubby, scrubby. You think it's clean now? Yes. Okay, let's wipe it out with towels. It's not glamorous, folks, but this is what you have to do. Great job, Molly. Thank you. All right. Nice work. Now it's time to press this guy in. Now some people will hammer it in, um, but I don't think that's a very controlled way to do it. So I came up with this pressing device, and it's really nothing fancy at all. It is just a threaded rod with some wooden blocks and washers and nuts on the end. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I guess if there was any particular special thing about it, it's just that I made this ring of wood right here and that's going to ride inside the shaft log just to keep this threaded rod centered so i'm going to get this set up uh, with the cutlass bearing in place and then we're going to press it in right yep okay All right, you ready? Yes. Okay. 
Okay, so my dad is taking this out from the inside. And I found myself a nice little seat in between the boat and the rudder right here. It's pretty nice. Halfway in the shade, halfway in the sun. Yeah, it's nice. Let's see, is this out yet? Is it all the way out? Yep. Yes. Yay, we got it. This, uh, this pressing tool thing actually worked really good. And this is like, I don't know, for, build one of these for like less than 10 bucks using Home Depot or hardware store supplies okay next step is we got to drill some little dimples into the cutlass bearing here through these set screw holes so that these little pointy set screws can drop into those dimples and lock this cutlass bearing in place shavings out of there. There's a little dimple in there. And one in there. Yeah. This liquidy. Here. Okay. There you go. Give it a good Good twist. Let me, let me let me feel for you here. Hold on to that. Let me see what that feels like. Give it just a little more. Okay, there you go. Here you go. There's that. And here's your other one. Go ahead and stick it on there for you. Okay, I'll get that other side. That's that's about 18 times more than what you need, just for future reference, but good job. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, be sure the threads are in there. Yeah, that, that looks like it's going in. Okay. Well, okay. Alright. Nice job, dab, Molly. Dab, dab, dab. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so what's next is actually two steps that are happening kind of at the same time. We're gonna slide the shaft through the the hole back here through the cutlass bearing and just have it sitting back there somewhat loose because we're also going to be installing the dripless shaft seal somewhat at the same time um, i want it to be kind of loose so that we could get the shaft seal situated on the shaft log which is the, the little pipe on the inside of the boat that the cutlass bearing is sitting in and that the dripless shaft seal will slide on to so that's what's next the shaft is going in and the dripless shaft seal is being installed or beginning to be installed what you got there Molly animal cracker I want an animal cracker <laughs> there is the shaft log here is the dripless shaft seal. The dripless shaft seal goes on the shaft log. If it were not for the dripless shaft seal, the shaft log would be drippy. Yeah. <laughs> it's important to make noises like this. What to 
doing? Great job, Molly. Great job, you. Thank you, thank you. Is it installed? Uh, one part of it is. Yay! Okay, so we got the dripless shaft sheet seal, seal, seal on. Now we have to put the shaft. Is the GoPro back there? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I make so many trips in and out of the boat because I can't find what I'm looking for. In this case, the camera. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. Just, thank you, Molly. You're welcome. <laughs> Here comes Molly. Ready for it? Oh, it's wiggling. The tube is wiggling. Oh, oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. I see it, I see it. Stop! Okay, I think I did good. I think. Let's hope so. How's that? I think it's good. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Nice job, Molly. Thank you. <laughs> it, it was very squeaky. All right, so we just made up a little bit of soapy water. I probably should have put some on that shaft going in there. Probably would have made it easier. But soapy water is needed to put on this little coupling part that has two very delicate O-rings that's going to be sliding over that shaft. So let's do that. This is called the rotor. Can you see those see those O-rings in there? Huh? Can you see that, Molly? I'm focusing. Yes. Yeah? There's a couple O-rings in there. And we're going to lubricate these with some soapy water. And while I was at the house, me and Molly cleaned up this shaft. And it's very important that you be sure that all of these potentially sharp edges around the front end of the shaft and going all the way back the shaft the rest of the way do not have any burrs or sharp spots on them. That's very, very important. So let's get this guy soaked up. And we will get it installed. I am sure to drop this into the bilge. There's one o ring and the other one. Alright, I need to I need to unsoapify my hands. I can't grip anything. <sighs> Be right back. Let me get the soapy water off the places that don't need soapy water. Why are you saying water? I can't see your heads in the way. <sighs> Hey, camera woman, you gotta do what it takes to get the shot. All right, and now we're, all right. Now that guy is on there. Wow, that is a close fit. That's impressively a tight fit. Okay, so now that that guy is on there, now we just have to sh slide the shaft through and keep working that forward. Well, working it back as the shaft comes forward and back as the shaft comes forward. Okay, so I have the shaft in here about as far as I can get it. Uh, the next thing to do is actually to put the shaft coupling on this part right here because I need to get the shaft all the way put in place so that there's no more, you know, um, maneuvering and, and adjustment to be done as far as the length of the shaft goes because once I have the coupling installed, then I can snug this guy up to the bellows and then compress this and that's where the seal comes from between this face the carbon face and this stainless steel rotor so the next thing from here is actually to install the coupler
so the coupler is reinstalled these main bolts here i have those tightened down really good there are lock washers on those and uh blue loctite you know thread lock on there as well and that's on all four of those bolts that that noise you hear back there is just the shaft rubbing on the the dry cutlass bearing um and then these bolts which are actually locking the shaft into the coupler uh, so this has a lock washer, it has a second lock nut, it has blue Loctite on it, and I've safety wired these upper bolts, you know, against the rotation of the threads. And then finally, there is a, a shaft key that is down in that slot, you know, holding it all together. Okie dokie! So I think that is pretty much good to go. All right, ready? Yeah. Ready? All right, now, now we bring this rotor up until it just barely touches the carbon, right, right there. And now we mark this spot because we gotta add some compression to these bellows. So we're gonna mark it and then we're gonna compress it and then we're gonna put the set screws in. All right, so now I'm putting these little set screws in the holes down there in the shaft seal. And then we have to add three quarters of an inch of compression that way with this collar. And then lock these set screws into place. And let's see, three quarters of an inch of compression. I know what three quarters of an inch looks like. Yeah, yeah, it's about like, yeah. There we go. Compressed with about three quarters of an inch of compression. Pretty darn close, I'd say. Uh, now all that's left here is putting a second grub screw in each of these holes behind the first one with Loctite on it just to lock the first ones in place. Now, one other thing I'm going to add is this little secondary collar. Now, this is not included with the, the standard dripless shaft seal kit, but this just acts as a backup for that that uh, stainless steel rotor. This is it right here, just backing up that primary collar. And this is not necessary. It's just a, kind of a backup precaution kind of thing. And, you know, I like the idea. Get peace of mind, if nothing else. I mean, throughout our years of cruising, I've, call me soft, but I've kind of grown fond of, you know, not sinking. So anything like this that helps, like, improve our odds, yeah, I'm on board for that. All right, that's all, folks. We hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and don't miss out on our next video when Molly reinstalls our Max Prop propeller. All right, thank you very much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Now, we need to thank a few people. First, we have a new patron that came on board, Barry. Thank you very much for signing up to be a patron. We really appreciate it. We also want to thank Lori, who sent us a PayPal donation. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, Molly, what have you got over there? I have wire. <laughs> wire? Yes. All right. Now, somebody sent us this wire and also this wood putty over here. We don't know who, but uh, we really appreciate it. This is really handy stuff. We're working on the cap rail on the outside of the boat and also some stuff on the inside, uh, on the floor. And this wire, can you lift it up? There we go. Maybe. This roll of wire is going to be helpful for, you know, various electrical projects inside the boat. So, huge help. Whoever you are, mystery person, thank you very much. We have a lot of wire. <laughs> <laughs> we also want to thank Andrew for sending us the shaft sinks. There's three of them. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you very much. All right, let's wrap it up. Ready and go, ladies. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you next time. Good job, ladies. All right, <laughs> see you next time.